and I get to play with today. A Red Ranger helmet. It's from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, and the best part is you can actually wear this thing. So let's unbox it and try it on. First, we just need to take a second and admire this beautiful box. I mean, it doesn't quite look like the Power Rangers toys from my childhood, but I do like this ultra clean collector's edition look. It really does feel like a premium item. The front has all the important information. It says it's the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, Mighty Morphin Red Rick, the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. And that's because it's the helmet from the original 1993 Red Ranger from the first season of the show. You know, Jason. The back is pretty minimal with the text. There's a paragraph in a few different languages uh, giving a little bit of origin to the Red Ranger. The sides look pretty cool too. Nice hero shot of the Red Ranger. Ooh, nice one, little half shot. The top looks about the same. And yeah, not much else in terms of extra information, extra tidbits about the product. This doesn't really do much other than go on your head or on display. And I can't imagine there's much else inside the box besides the helmet and stand, but let's find out. All right, first I'm gonna cut off this tape. Simple enough. And now is the moment of truth. Let's open this top. Staring you right in the face as you open it up. I try to pull this out all in one go. Put that there. What else is in here? Yep, as I suspected, the only other item in here is the stand. Feels like it's a couple different parts, so we'll see how that comes together. So, just gonna get this box out of the way. I think we've seen enough of that. Deal with the stand later. We wanna see the helmet, right? I'm just gonna open this plastic up. Ooh, here it is. That awesome. That's what the inside looks like. You can definitely see some adjustment straps on the inside that you can adjust. All right, so before I open this up, I just want to talk about what it feels like to hold this thing. I can't say it feels like a helmet, and I know that sounds strange. I wasn't expecting to be able to go on a bike ride in this helmet and be fully protected but I was expecting something a little bit more than a trick or treat bucket. And to me, that's what the plastic of this helmet feels like. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock on the helmet so you can kind of get a sense for it. It does look really cool though, and the detail is pretty amazing. Everything from the lips on the mask to the T-Rex teeth around the eyes and the eyeballs above that. And if its main purpose is to sit on my shelf and look cool, then it definitely checks all the boxes. This is a pretty cool detail. There's some molded latches on the side, which is from the show, but I don't think these actually function. <laughs> pretty sure it's kind of just, a, yep, look at that. Didn't even have to do much to open it. So those brackets on the side, not actually doing what you'd think they'd do. So just like a bicycle helmet, you can adjust the strap behind with this little turn wheel. There's an additional strap at the front that you can tighten or loosen. This hinge though, it's kind of flimsy. Like when I try to close it, you kind of have to line it up perfectly. Otherwise you can accidentally have one side of it go crooked. Let's see, like that. See how I can kind of close it without it being totally in place. You kind of have to, you have to really aim for it. All right, let's see if I can get this on. So what I need to do is loosen this quite a bit because I've got a slightly big head. This one will also have to be opened up. Now this helmet does come in just one size, so hopefully it fits most people that buy it. Let's see, I gotta take off my glasses. And then a little extra tightening in the back. All right, visibility through the mask is pretty good. Hopefully you can understand what I'm saying, but I can see right through the visor very well. Do have a little bit of cropping right there. It's not full field, field of vision. And I'm already hot. Ugh. Pretty 
pretty great. I can't see myself though. So let's put those back on. One slight nitpick about wearing this is the place where your head sits inside the helmet is attached to the front part of the mask and I wish it was attached to the back part because when you put it on, you kind of want to pull the visor over your face after the back is already in place. But because it's attached to the front part, you have to put the front part of the mask on first and then pull the back behind you like this. So front's on and then I gotta kind of close it that way. So you don't get that cool Power Ranger feeling of putting on a helmet where you would probably go. I actually just clipped my ears doing that. But I think I'm just looking for things to complain about. I mean, this is for cosplay and for display. It's not like it's supposed to be a functioning battle helmet. Or is it? All right, let's check out the stand and how it looks on display. There's a couple parts in here. Got that. And then looks like it probably goes inside to hold it up. There is some instructions in here. So let's see if I can't figure it out. Well, these aren't instructions. This is like legal mumbo jumbo that I don't care about. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna figure it out by trial and error. So that clearly fits on there. Oh, I see. It stacks this way. I'm gonna assume this probably goes around top like that. All right. And then the head should just sit nicely right there. Oh man. Seeing it on display like this makes me really happy. So let me give you a little backstory on why the Red Ranger all of a sudden. Austin St. John, along with the actors that played Zack and Trini, left the show sometime in the second season due to contract disputes. But Jason's Red Ranger has made appearances in the series since. If you stopped watching Power Rangers around the same time I did, you know he was in Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, which was the second one. That whole lineup of original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has been reprised in the form of comic books, which are really interesting if you wanna check those out. And in an upcoming episode of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, which is the current iteration of Power Rangers, Austin St. John himself is gonna reprise the role and don the red suit again. He's even gonna morph. So spending time with the Red Ranger helmet has got me feeling pretty nostalgic for Power Rangers. And I think there's only one more appropriate thing to do for this video. It's morphin' time. Tyrannosaurus! Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! So if you too want to be the Red Ranger, you can pre-order this helmet right now. It costs about 80 bucks and it ships in August. Thanks for watching this unboxing and letting me live out my childhood fantasies. What's your favorite iteration of the Power Rangers? Drop it down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to CNET for more great tech videos, usually featuring some actual technology, but we also have some great toy unboxings too. See you next time.